Hey, what's up, YouTube? In this video, I'm actually showing you how to make, how to actually rig a empty character. This character is completely empty. I'm going to be showing you how to rig it from the base and up. Okay, so this will include other rigs that I've already got. I'll put them into a model for you guys to use. Um, it's really, really simple, and once you get to know how to do it, it's really, really easy. Okay, all you want to do first, just open up your foxy. Okay, I've, I've, it, mine is just foxy. Yours can be any skin. But these are the ones I use for every single one. Okay, these ones here. I'm going to grab them and I'm just going to put them into Foxy and I'm going to put them all into his torso. I do, however, want to take out Root Hip and I want to put Root Hip into Humanoid Root Part, okay? I'm going to highlight all these ones in Torso and I'm going to click that. So I'm going to click into here and their Part 0 is already Torso, okay? So you want to make sure that their Part 0 in Properties is Torso, okay? Left Hips, Part 1. So you want to go down here, Left Hip, Part 1, and it will already, so mine are already assigned, obviously, because I've already put them in. What it will do is you'll select part one and you'll select it as a left leg, okay? So you'll do part one, left leg, part one, left arm for each one. So left shoulder will be left arm, neck will be head, right hip will be right leg, right shoulder will be right um, arm, okay? And then, yeah, right hip will be right leg. And then once you go into edit rig now, you'll have these five things here and also that will be root hip as well. So you want to go into root hip will be part, part zero, human on root part and part one torso, okay? And you'll come up with these five rigs here, okay? What I want to do now is I want to go back into the edit rig and I'm going to go from left arm, right arm here to the knife. Okay, so it's going to be right arm to the knife and then I'm going to create joints. I'm also going to turn it off so it's a bit bigger for you guys. That'll be right arm to the knife, it'll do that, okay? And then you've got one on the torso here, so I'm going to go torso to hood and to tail, okay? Torso to hood and to tail and you'll see it'll select it and then you do that. Now this is where it's going to get a little bit more confusing, but you're going to go from head, okay, head to foxy head. And then it'll be foxy head to anything else that's on the head. I've probably picked one of the worst ones here because there's not many things. But you'll go from head to whatever else is on the head. So for me, it's only the pupils. Once you've done that, that's pretty much it. Then you can go into the animation editor, click on foxy, and then you can go create. And you can actually move all of these now. You should be able to move them all like this. They should spin around on that. You should be able to use them. Um, you want to use a head, though. You don't want to use foxy head. You want to use head. So if you just want to go plus and then add all, and you can get head. And you can move the head and it'll move everything. You can move the arm and it'll move the knife with it. You see like that. So you can spin it around. You can move his torso and it'll move everything then. So you'll see if you move his torso, it moves everything. Which is how you want the rig to be. So if I go import now, this is how I get all my animations to swap over onto other characters as well. So then I could go for decoder idle, you see. So if I go to decoder idle. Oh, decoder idle is a broken one, okay. If I go to, oops, if I go to import, and then if I try, I'll try, I'll try Budgie. And you'll see, oh, Budgie's got broken arms as well, typical. Let's go import, Roblox, and then we'll do, what one should we do? We'll, we'll do Mary Stun. No, not Mary Stun, that's just a normal Mary. Um, we'll do, we'll do, Torture Walk, and you'll see that, that then changes, and it'll change to whatever one you actually have. It'll change, it'll keep the animations the exact same if you have them exact same rigs to every other character you see. So that's pretty much how to animate it really quickly. I've already got my animate source in here, so that's all working in that. Um, the ambience is in the torso, and I'm actually going to be showing you also how to make the GUIs. So I'm going to show you how to make new GUIs, um, custom GUIs to fit your thing. So I'm going to first put it in starter GUI just so I can see it, okay? I'm going to start a GUI and I'm going to do a frame. Okay, so you've got this. I'm going to be doing a jump scare and I'm also going to be doing a stun at one. Okay, so I'm going to go jump scare. He's going to be right here. And I actually forgot to grab it from the other one, but that's all right. So I'm going to do jump scare. It's going to be right here. Okay. We're then going to go plus into this. Actually, you don't need to go. Yeah, you do. Go plus into this. And now you just want to go text button. Okay. If you go text button, you can then drag that over there. Or you can do it however you want. But this is how I do mine. Then I'm going to grab text button. I'm going to size it to be the exact same, okay? And then I'm going to go into text button and I'm going to name it jump scare, like that. And I'm going to change the text to be whatever one I want. I'm going to go for denk one, and then I'm going to change it to be text scaled, not that one, text scaled, like that. And I'm also going to change the color of the box to be different as well. So I'm going to go one seven two one seven two one seven two. Remember, you can change this to whatever you like. I keep it the same within all of them. 
And you can also do another one. So for the stun, you'd obviously just do like this very, very similar thing. You just duplicate this, actually duplicate the frame. You could duplicate the frame there. You want to duplicate the screen GUI this time. This is going to be a different one. Then all you'd do is just move this frame down. Mine's moved the other one with it. I don't know why. Oh, that's that frame. That's why. So you move that frame down. Then you move the button on top of it, just like that. And then once you've got that, that will be that done. And then you can go here and you can change the... This one says done, just like that. And then once you've got that, that'll be both of them. They can both be clickable. And now all I'm going to do is I'm going to name this one Jump Scare GUI. And this one here, Stun GUI. Now all I'm going to do is I'm going to grab them and put them into his GUIs in the morph pad. They will then disappear because they're invisible. And then I'll show you, oh, I won't show you how to do the scripts, but I'll show you how to put the scripts in. So guys, what we want to do next is I've got these two scripts here now, okay? This first script is for the stun, and this second one is for the jump scare, okay? So this one here for the jump scare, all we're going to do is put this into the jump scare GUI into the, into the button, okay? The sounds are there, the anime is there, that's all good. What I'm then going to do is I'm going to put the other one into the stun GUI, into the button, okay? I'm then going to click a new thing on here, and I'm going to click a text label. But first, I'm going to put this text label in starter GUI just so I can see it. On here, I'm also going to have to put on screen GUI and then put it in there just so I can test this here like this, okay? You'll see now that this text label is this one here. I'm going to make it as big as I can. Just like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to Play, I'm going to type into this Foxy is gone, or you can type Piggy is gone for 20 seconds. So I'm going to do Foxy is gone for 20 seconds, like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it the same text as Piggy, which is going to be Garamond, that one there. Then I'm going to make it text scaled. You can always make it bigger if you like. I'm going to keep it this size. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to make it the exact same. So it's going to be white background transparency one. I'm going to make the text color white with a black background. So I'm going to make the text color, oopsie, that's orange. I'm going to make the text color white. And then I'm going to make that one zero. So you've got that. And then once I've done that, I'm then going to grab this label here. I'm going to name it gone. Because that's what I named it. And then I'm going to put this into the stun GUI into just there, so it's like that. And then I'm going to go and start the GUI now. I'm going to delete this screen GUI again. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put anim2 into button into local script, which is already there. That's anim1 anyway. I'm going to leave anim1 in there a second. Put anim2 into the local script, delete that one there, and I'm going to put anim1 into the jump scare one, which is also there as well. The When I tested this a minute ago, the animations weren't working, I don't know why. Oh, it's because I've got these ones, but one second, let me just change this back, so it's going to be humanoid, like that. Then I'm going to make sure his theme here is going to be playing, like that. Then I'm going to make sure that the sounds and that are all playing and that should be good and then once you've done that hopefully this should all go well and everything should work my mouse is nearly out of battery i think because it's not running as well as it should be it's loud let's make sure it's turned down in obs let's hope that's all right that should be good now what i'm going to do wrong place let's go in here you see his animations are working this time I actually left them visible. One second, let me just fix this. Let me just fix this. GUI's jump scare. I don't know why these are up there as well. Um, this one, I've got to make visible false. Where's visible? False. I think I'll make sure that stun GUI and jump scare GUI, I'm going to put them into start GUI second. This one is jump scare, isn't it? Oh, they're both, they're both reset because I took away the frame, yeah. And I'm going to move stun GUI's bottom down to there. There we go, I can now go put them back into 
his GUIs now, and now I can go play. I will also make a one for where that you can just turn it on and off um, instead of um, instead of just having it so it goes off after 20 seconds to have it so you can turn it on and off, but here you go. That should go like that, you should get the jump scare and stun. It disappears until it's over, and then you press stun. Foxy's gone for 20 seconds out of place, obviously, because of the it's not centered and everything, and that's really loud on my, on my side, so I'm going to turn it down a little bit. That will be centered, and then it disappears, and then he should be still be stunned and for another 20 seconds. That's pretty much how it works, that's all it's going to be, really. Um, it's not too hard, to be honest. I'm going to go here, and I'm going to quickly do average laptop. There we go. And I'm going to quickly put it into... Actually, I'm going to quickly make it... Can I make it visible? No, I have to put it in here, don't I? Start a GUI. Then go here, here, um, visible, yes, and then I can put it up there just like that, straight in the middle. Make it a little bit bigger, maybe. Actually, no, not that big. Make it that big. And I'll put it there. And then I can also do size for all devices so that it's the same size on all devices, whether you're on iPhone or if you're on laptop. And you should probably do that for all the other ones as well. But I don't, um, I'm then going to make this one visible false. Put stun GUI into there. I could test this one last time. And then I'm going to go... Here, step onto the thing plate. And then we can go stun. You see it appears in the middle this time. And then it'll disappear in a minute. You've got your stun animation. That's all how it happens. So, if you did enjoy, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to never miss another video. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.